Today I am going to explain you how we are going to take main engine performance. So take, for taking the performance of main engine, we need to run the engine at the maximum RPM. In our case we run at 99 RPM and the C should be calm and the course should not be altered until the performance is completed. So one end of the uh, sensor is connected here which will be connected to the computer in the engine control room. So what we are going to do is we have to connect the sensor to the uh, main engine indicator cock. So you can see here uh, this is the sensor which will be connected to the indicator cock of the main engine. We need to blow through the engine then connect. One end of this is connected to the sensor here and the other end will go to the engine control room. This is the Kaima diesel analyzer. So what we have to do is we have to blow through the engine and make sure no carbon is there. You open the indicator cock you can see the hot gas coming out. So once you blow through remove all the carbon then you connect the sensor here. Make sure you use the heat resistance gloves and tighten the sensor properly so that it doesn't come out and there should not be any leakage. So once that is done you open the indicator cock and once you open the indicator cock what will happen is the Kaima sensor you have the measuring taking place you can see the Kaima instruments here this is online when it's connected the A will lit up when the indicator cock is open you will see the B lights coming that is the measuring uh, you wait until the measuring is finished you will get the finish here C will come up green so you have to wait until it comes so once you make sure this is done so the instructions are given how you can see the green light come so this is how it is so you can see the instructions given here on the uh, Kaima instrument here this is the maker so first you connect the cable then start the computer then the green light will come if it's connected properly A then you can open the connect the sensor here to the indicator cock then open the valve check for the measuring light B here then wait till it is finished C will come green then once that is done close the valve disconnect the sensor then repeat the same thing for the number of cylinders which you have on the main engine so this is one part of it you should be able to do it so make sure that safety is taken care so you have to use the heat resistance gloves you can see here right now its measuring is taking place you can see the green light so once you have finish the performance you can see the report coming over here so you can see the scavenge pressure is 2.5 bar and indicator power you can see 7032 kilowatt the important part in the performance is the PCOM the PCOM and the PMAX you can see the PCOM here reading 1 to 7 cylinders and PMAX you can see here RPM you can see and you can see the kilowatt in each of the units so this is very important to take performance once in a month to know the condition of the engine you can see this is one graph you can see this graph you will get so each of the graphs will indicate the different positions this is the banana curve so this also you can see all the seven units are coinciding with each other all these graphs which you get you can analyze so this is very important part of the performance so if you have any doubt regarding how you are going to take the performance and uh, any doubt regarding that you can always message me you can see that back measurements uh, here the graph this is each of the graph you can see the Pmax you can see this Pmax and this is the blue line you can see if the difference goes above this then it becomes red so you can see PCOM and the PMAX so each of the graphs you can see here and identify if there is any fault so all these things are required you can see this one uh, so 
it's green if it crosses this line that means it uh, the problem with the unit so you have to find out where the fault is so if you have any doubt regarding the performance you can always message me thank you